Uh, okay, uh, so uh, welcome team are requested to join uh, this session and uh, take the session further for further text. All right, are we good to start? Yes, yes. Okay, ciao. Good evening, good morning, everybody. I hope you all can see my screen. Oh, sorry, I just stopped sharing, so I'll share again. Okay, I think it must be visible now. Is it good? Yes, no, no, it is visible. Okay, okay, cool. So I hope you all are aware that what is the topic of our today's webinar. So, you know, as you all can see the First slide that it's roles and responsibility of product owner. So before we you know like really go deep into the topic, I really want to know that do you guys know what a product owner is? And you know like uh, of course I'm here to give the presentation, but I expect this to be more of a dialogue rather than a monologue because if it's just me who's gonna speak, then probably, you know, like you'll not get more out of it. So feel free to stop me whenever you want. And I'm happy to take, you know, like all the questions that you have. All right, so we'll just move on. So, so all, 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 yes, so the all participants are requested to take, uh, give your question on the chat box. So, so uh, uh, with respect to time, uh, so I will check the chat box and uh, able to answer. Uh, our question. Okay, okay. Okay, so keep on checking the chat box. All right, so we'll go to the. So, this is the agenda, and you know, like this is really short and sweet, not a lot of things. And I personally do not believe in text by PPT because I know that in office sometimes. It becomes so stressful. There are a lot of slides and, you know, people just keep on talking. And what happens? You actually lose concentration and you don't really understand everything. So just a couple of things. Who am I? And my relation to All right. Okay, so a couple of things about me. What is the product and why do we need a PO? And then, you know, at the end, we can probably take a couple of questions. So I am, you know, I would say your senior. So I did my engineering from UIT. And my batch was 2007, and it's been 13 wonderful years since I'm part of uh, this IT industry and have been associated with major banks like JP Morgan, Barclays, American Express. And right now I'm associated with Fidelity Investments and based out in Boston. And my primary responsibilities, you know, like I've been fortunate to be part of uh, all these giants. And my career was agile, so it's not really one you know, like a uh, role that I was entitled to. I was probably, uh, was part of everything. So I was a business analyst. I was a developer. I did performance testing. I did automation testing. I did manual testing. So, you know, like whatever software life cycle. This whatever, conference will now be recorded. Whatever we do. So I have been, uh, you know, like part of that. And I, I consider my myself very fortunate that you know the industry gave me an opportunity to be part of all those things so most of the time we talk about yes we work in agile environment but can our profession be agile can our roles can it be agile so i would say you know like yes and that's a very good thing and that's the first step to becoming a, you know a successful product owner because you know it all you know the technologies you know that what do you have to expect others to do 
And of course, you know, like you must be seeing that why do we have um, this elephant and mountain in background? So of course, you know, like that was all about my profession. But personally, I like to travel a lot, and I'm a passionate photographer. So this is just a picture that I took, you know, like during one of my trip. So that's all. So before we, uh, you know, like move on further, I just have a question: that like, what is a product, right? So. Of course, we know that we are here to talk about product owner, but definitely, you know, like, let's take a step backwards and understand what is a product. So I would say that anything that we use on a day-to-day -day basis is a product. And you know, like, right now, I have taken a couple of examples from my day-to-day -day life. I know, you know, like, during this pandemic time, I would say, you know, like, at least I am a lot active on Insta and Netflix. So I just swear by these two things. So Insta, it's a product. Netflix is a product. And of course, like Twitter, Twitter, Amazon, Flipkart, anything that you're using. And I'm sure like, you must be booking flights and using something, make my trip. All these things are nothing else but products. But you know, like, how, how does it come? Yes, we do have products. But who tells us what to build? right, what to build, how to build, and what really we have to do about it. So that is nothing else but your product life cycle. And in order to build a product, I think, you know, like you should have a vision that, yes, this is what I need and this is what I want to build. Let's say, you know, like, let's say, for example, when Netflix came, probably we did not have anything that had such an, you know, like, immense collection of all the videos and everything they must have had the vision in their mind so i think if you have to design any product so this is the soul of that product vision what is it that you really want to do and that is nothing else but your project charter your vision yes and then after that once you've realized yes this is what i want to do right let's say you know like for example you you know, like you have your library and you want to automate your library system. So that is your vision. And now you want to understand that, you know, like your different rules, that what is it you want to do? Let's say, you know, like at one point in time, a student cannot issue more than three or five books. So that would become your requirement or a person who has dues or, you know, like who hasn't submitted the books yet should be blacklisted. So that would be another requirement. And in order to, you know, like find out the requirements, what is most important? It's important for a product owner to, I would say, you know, talk directly to the customers. And when I say customers, the end users who would be using that product. So like for Instagram, who who's a, you know, like who's a consumer? It's us, people like us, we are consumers. But Twitter, you know, so it's all humans from different background. And that's what defines your requirement. But once you have a requirement, so to start with, you would be having a lot of things, right? Everyone would tell you everything. But after that, what happens is you target a set of customers. It's not really that, you know, you cannot do everything in just one day. It takes time. Everything takes time. So you'll come and then you'll decide, okay, fine. You're like, this is the segment that I want to focus first. So what Insta did, right? They, if they would have said that, you know, like, yes, we want to build a product and would have reached to, let's say, you know, like our grandpas, then definitely they would, oh, you know, like, I don't know. I probably do not believe in any kind of platform. But what they targeted was millennials. And they said, oh, yes, you know, like they are high on social networking. So what is it that they want? And based on their needs, they design that product. And if you see Netflix, it has content for everything. But when they started, do you really think they had a lot of content? No. They decided, okay, fine, like this is the majority. And let's say like majority is youth, and this is what they want to see. They probably want to see like rom com or uh, you know, some sci-fi, and let's have our collection. So that's what defines your product backlog in priority, right? That if I want to invest in you know like this particular segment for this particular audience this is what i have to do first and once you have that backlog so backlog is nothing else but the set of requirements that you want to achieve over a period of time 
and then it's a course you know like you have to prioritize that and in one sprint and when you, when i say sprint so you know like it's the literal meaning of sprint if there is a runner and he wants to run so right so he takes a sprint it's like okay fine you know like i'm going to run and finish this round so that's what if you see this diagram that's what we're doing right now here we are taking a small piece of of a backlog right let's say you know like two or three things that you know these are the features that we want to do and then we are developing that and then we are you know like letting our users use that so that's what i would say that yes this is the product life cycle that you define your vision you come up with the bigger backlog and then you prioritize that what is it that you want to achieve you develop it and then you ship it so that would be your minimum viable product your mvp which is going to market and you'll hear feedback from your users that how is it going and based on you know your feedback so of course you have a certain backlog in mind but sometimes what happens is your user would tell that you know like rather than having those features i would like to have this and then continuously you just keep on updating your product and that eventually becomes your product life cycle so the next thing is that what is a product owner of course you know like you need everybody you need a developer you need a tester you need someone to run the project but a product owner is someone who drives everything who has vision for these things that what is it that we should do and how to do it what is the right way of do it you have to talk to all the stakeholders right so now rather than taking the real life example i would like to take the example of the uh, you know of the role of product owner in a software industry so let's say me right i know this is what my team is working on but what is that we have to do and being part of a financial firm for over uh, over a decade what i have understood is that this is the one of the most critical part that uh, you know you have to get it right because there are millions millions and billions of dollars which are at stake so you usually go and ask your stakeholders who are nothing else but the business users and when i say business users in our case it would be traders right so i i'm assuming that you know you know a bit of trading and you know that you have money that you want to invest in somewhere and you want to make money out of it so you have to know that you know you have to ask them that what is it that they want and based on that you tell your team that yes this is what the users how users want and these are the things which are achievable because sometimes what happens is that the requirements that you get are totally hypothetical and you don't know what you really have to do with that yes you know like you have to do that but is everything doable by technology i would say no there are some things that you know that you prefer to do on your own rather than you know like totally depending on technology for that so you have to identify that and in order to do that you should have a sound understanding of domain and as well as technology so these are the two key things that makes you a successful product owner and once you have all those things you know like what you will do is you sit with your team and you'll plan and usually what happens is that you have your sprint as talking uh, in my previous slide and which is from let's say you know like one to four weeks but then you have release which is usually every quarter and that is nothing else but your mvp and it's all about that how soon you put your uh, your code in production and take feedback from your users and so that's where you know like your scrum master and uh, your team comes into picture to facilitate that while you continue to gather more requirements and then see that you know like what is it that you will do in future so i would say you know, like product owner is someone who bridges the gap between the technology team and the business team and make sure that whatever goals that we have thrived for is achievable and here i'm talking more in terms of agile because that's the way forward and you know like in my past 8 years of experience i have barely seen anyone using anything other than agile so it's all agile these days 
And of course, you know, like we have spins. So we do go for uh, review. So I said that, you know, like every quarter we have to ship it to production. But before that, every sprint ends, we do review with the product owner or with the business partners directly. So that's what uh, product owner is. And as I was stating that, you know, in order to be a successful product owner, what is it that you need? So, of course, like your technology knowledge, your business knowledge cannot go away at any point in time. So, and I, I would like, you know, like to uh, talk about for a moment here that why is it important? So, let's say like you are managing a team and uh, you your project is based on let's say like Angular and then you have database in the background and then you have Java as well here. And uh, let's say the team comes and then says that, you know, like, no, uh, you know, this is definitely not doable. But if you know about those tech stats, I'm not saying that, you know, you should be a pro in that, but definitely you should know a bit of it. I would say, you know, like, you should know, okay, fine. When they're talking about classes, when they're talking about uh, your PLC course, you should know that, you know, like, how to do it. So that plays a very important role. And then at the same time, you know, it says like business driven. So why, why business driven? Your domain knowledge is very important. If you're talking to, you know, like all the financial stakeholders, they talk in um, your domain terms. And if you say, oh, wait a minute, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. What did you say? So the answer would be, oh, really? You did not understand that. So I'm not sure like everyone is like that or people are like that, but it's very important for you to understand that. So that's why, you know, like if, if you want to be a product owner, you have to understand domain and the technology, everything. And these days, I would say all the organizations are going full stack. No one really, you know, like pays attention to, okay, fine, okay. You know, they, this person knows Java, this person knows UI, and this person knows database. No, it's like you should know everything. And back from the day when I started, we used to have dedicated testing team, but now that has gone away too. The developers themselves have been asked to test their code. And, you know, it can be a peer, peer review kind of thing. So this is what is happening these days. And, of course, you know, like as I've been talking so far that you need you need to have a bigger picture. You need to have a vision. Then only you would be able to drive a product. So I think, you know, like these are some of the traits that a product owner should have. And I wish I knew it sooner because when I was in college, I definitely, you know, like did not know what a product owner is. And I learned it my own way. And I'm, I'm glad for that, you know, like no regrets. But still, you know, it, it's a good thing. And you do not become product owner overnight, I think. If you have understanding of everything and then eventually it evolves. And of course, you know, like you need to have a flexible attitude and in all, I would say, good communication skills, if I may put it that way, so that you talk to people and you voice out your opinion. So I would say like that's all about product owner. And definitely, like as I've been talking, that it it requires a lot of conversations, a lot of meetings with stakeholders. And every time you have to, you know, like literally talk to people. But what's happening these days, right? So it's been what I would say like more than two months since I've stepped out of my home. I'm, I'm literally, like, you know, like working from home. And where back in office when I was in meeting, literally six hours in a day to coming back to home wherein, you know, like we don't have those many meetings. So how are we coping up? So I would say thanks to Zoom, right, that we still talk. And yes, definitely, you know, like it has impacted, but we are just trying to find a way out that, you know, like how do we, how do we really achieve what we set ourselves at the start of the year? Because the show must go on, right? And, uh, so, I'm sorry, uh, someone went and is there a question that I can take? I was not locked. Okay. And so, as I was saying, that the show must go on. And I would say, if you are in this situation, then do not hesitate from pinging anybody because it's your responsibility to get the work done. And 
recently I was part of one one more hour by Dr. Zaki. I'm not sure if you have heard of it. But he said a very good thing, right? Uh, you know, it's like, it's social distancing that we have been asked to follow. But it's not really social distancing. It's distant socializing. Right? And, you know, like, these are just like game of words, but it makes a lot of difference. You cannot really be socially distant. It's very important to mingle with people if you want to keep yourself sane. At least I am a people person. If someone asks me to do a social distancing, then probably, you know, like, I'll go mad in a couple of days. But yes, you know, like it's, yes, you socialize, but you socialize distantly. And I would say like, if you go by that mantra, you would be all good. And that's what you should do. I think with that note, that's all I had to talk about the product owner roles and responsibilities. And then how do you become one? And I can take questions, but, you know, like any point in time you have anything that I can help. So feel free to let me know and I'm happy to take questions now. I hope I finished just in time. Yeah. All right. I'll see what do we have. All right, I don't see any questions yet. Uh, okay, uh, question, uh, uh, question from uh, uh, in behalf of the student. So, uh, what is the um, technical knowledge uh, anybody required to become a product owner? So, um, and how uh, much uh, how much number of year experience? Yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, I would say so that if we talk about the technical knowledge, then I would not really say that, you know, you need to go in depth of everything, but you should know a bit of everything. And, you know, like right now, the way organization is going is unless you are an expertise, they if you're a fresher, they want you to be full stack. And in terms of number of experience, I would say, it's a bit after seven to eight years when you gather that maturity to become a product owner. Because, you know, like as I've been talking about, it's not really what it is. It's a combination of a lot of things. And the more you work, the more you know how the industry is working. I hope I answered your question. Yes, your uh, answer is very good. And uh, some uh, compliments uh, received you from Madhu, Madam, Madam, Madhu Baro, Madam. Uh, he has uh, commented in chat box, Abhisham Delivery Sadda. I think you are remembering uh, remember Madhu, Madam? Yes, I, Madhu, do. Madam. I do remember Madhu, Madam. It's so good to hear from yes. Thank you so much. Uh, again, he has, she has commented some... Um, uh, you able to see the comment? Yes, yes, I can see the comment. That process okay, right. So, uh, you know, like process is definitely one part of it, but the mainly, you know, the industry is going these days is product driven. And off late, you know, like we keep on hearing ourselves uh, talking about that, yes, you have to deliver this product. And yes, we do have processes. But don't really, you know, like go by all those processes, right? Because sometimes what happens is if you have a lot of process, it slows you down. And you won't believe there are some teams who just work on the prototype. Yes, you have to deliver this and they'll probably, you know, like deliver you the entire feature in just one month to get the feedback. So product is, you know, like always takes the precedence over processes. So, uh, like any more degree after B is required, like MBA or uh, etc. is required to become product owner? So, uh, MBA, you know, like it's always a good to have thing rather than a must have thing. So, it's like, you know, like I did not go for an MBA. But had I gone for MBA, then definitely, you know, like my two years of study and then plus couple of years of experience. So, that would have been it. So, it's a good to have thing, but not a must have thing. All right, so I I get a question from him. Like, uh, where should we start if you want to product 
uh, become a product owner? All right. So that's a very good question. So uh, Himanshu, you know, like what happens is that when you join a company, the I would say, you know, like the approach that you should take is that you want to be a business analyst. And even though you are a business analyst, you question the developers that what is it that they're doing and then how are they doing? And uh, as I'm saying that, you know, like it's, it's all full stack. So it's very important that you understand that, right? So it's not really that they are doing it. And I'm sure you know, like if you start from scratch, you need to know that, yes, you know, I can do this too. So it would be a perfect thing if you become a developer and understand about the system and a business analyst and then you try to your product owner role and these days organizations support you know like these kind of behavior very much wherein they ask you that what is it that you want to do so you can be upfront about that and based on different organizations sometimes they themselves have programs that you know like yes i have this and i want to uh, I have this program and then as part of that, they'll probably place you on different products or the different projects. And uh, then yes, and if you have any questions and you're like uh, during your journey, feel free to ping me. I would be happy to answer you. Okay, and then I get, so how much time do we have, sir, to answer the questions? Can I go on? So you have uh, up to six uh, uh, or... Uh... And they have no limit of time. Such type. Okay. Okay. You can take it. Okay. Sure. And then Sanskar is asking challenges you faced in product owner position. Oh yes. So you know, like what happens is that this this role uh, involves a lot of uh, communication, and you have to make sure that yeah all your stakeholders are on the same page because you're building a product, but that's not really for one person. That's for a bunch of people and they all are your stakeholders. And if, you know, like two persons are different opinions, and sometimes what I have experienced is that they are very headstrong. So at that time, if you have to, you know, like make people in agreeing something that what you feel is right, I would say, you know, like that's the like most challenging part, like technology domain. All those things are something that you know, that you can learn. If you don't have the answer, you just Google, right? Because Google knows it all. But if if you you cannot really understand a human psyche, so I would say, you know, like that's the biggest challenge, and you should just know that, like, how to just go through that. So I would say, yes, it's people, and. So since car is done and then like Rupali, what is the difference between product owner and product manager? All right, so product owner. So, you know, like a product manager, what happens is, is a bigger role. And then a product manager has multiple, uh, you know, like product owners. So what happens these days is a product manager is some someone who identifies and is usually a part of bigger uh I would say, bigger organization initiatives, wherein he decides, yes, if I'm going to have multiple products, what is my delivery? And then how is it that I have to face that? Because, you know, like, we have we have just certain people, right? It's not that, that we have a lot of people. And then product owner, product manager is someone that, you know, who decides the priority in terms of products because you have multiple products i have a product that says that you know oh you should be able to chat and then i have a different product which says that you know you should just be able to post pictures so these are two different products but what takes priority is something that product manager owns and this is you know like the eventual path that you end up in if you are a product owner that you end up managing a multiple products all uh, right uh, guys you know like uh, let me know if you're not satisfied with my answer then I'll take another stab at it so I'm done with Rupali and then Shivam okay so Shivam is asking can we use orange scrum tool for management so Shivam I'm really sorry but I haven't heard of this tool and what we use on a day-to-day -day basis you know like it's more of Jira and uh, agile craft and this is what the uh, I would say industry has been using these days because, you know, like what happens is when you're part of a company, you do not 
especially a financial company, you do not really take a lot of risks and you do not really go by open source. I'm not sure if Orange Scrum is open source or not, but you do a lot of things to, you know, I would say like curb the features that they have and, and only take what you need. So yes, you know, it's just Jira and Agile Craft that we use for management. All right, and then Pushpin is asking, should we need good leadership skills to become product owner? Yes, Pushpin, yes, definitely. Because, you know, you have to lead your team. Uh, you have a bunch of people who are working for you. And, you know, like it's, it's very important that you encourage them. And if you want to encourage them, it's important that you lead them the right way. And when I say lead, so often we talk about, you know, like you have to lead by example. And then another thing which is very common these days is servant leadership. So a good leader does not really tell that, oh, you have to do this. But the approach is, oh, why don't we do this? So you include team. Right. And this is the way of leaders going forward, not really asking them to do, but doing it together. All right. I hope I answered that question, too. And then uh, Himanshu is asking, do we need to understand the marketing needs if you want to product, uh, become a product owner? So, uh, yes, Himanshu, so, you know, like I would not say really, you know, like you need to understand the mar market uh, needs. Unless you want to become an entrepreneur, so definitely, you know, like if you want to become an entrepreneur, you need to know that, yes, this is what your market is. This is what you want to capture and you need to know that. But in a day to day life cycle that I've been talking about, our, our software industry, in that case, you need to understand your technology and your domain. Whichever domain you are in, it's like I am in finance domain, so I need to know. A lot about finance domain and let's say you know like if you join a healthcare company then you need to know a lot about healthcare because that's the only way you would be able to tell your team that you know yes this is what you have to do and that's why you know like I said that business analysis becomes an I would say crucial part of it because that's what business analysts do they understand the requirement they understand everything that that's going on around that and what is it that they have to build all right, so Himanshu, okay, I answer that question. And then Kanchan is asking how the product owner and development team collaborating during sprint. So usually, you know, like what happens is um, that the product owner usually is part of sprint planning and on need basis is part of the daily catch-up calls or as how we call it, scrum calls. I'm sorry about that. And scrum calls that we have. So that is the interaction we have. But the main interaction that we have is during the start of sprint. When we talk about all the features that we have to work on. And we usually, you know, like call them stories. It's all, uh, it all goes by, our, you know, like Jira and everything. So all those stories, which are nothing else but features. Just, so the product owner tells them, that, you know, this is the story. This is the requirement that we have to work on this. And um, after that, it's the backlog refinement session. So usually what happens is that, yes, at the start of sprint, in sprint planning, you usually talk about, yes, this is what you have to do. And say, you know, like this two weeks or three weeks. But in between, you just keep on meeting to talk about future work. Right, that yes, this is what we have to do, and then how do we have to do? So that's how the development team engages with the product owner. Okay, all right. I answered Kanchan's question, and then Tanya is asking, how do you manage with Scrum team? So uh, you know, uh, Tanya. So it, I would say you know it's the same answer. So Scrum team is nothing else but my product team, my bunch of developers and scrum master usually what i try to do is a lot with my scrum master because scrum master is someone who uh, you know like works on the impediments of developers and I, I don't know like believe it or not but sometimes what happens is that uh, scrum master sits with the team and uh, he or she knows that what's going in and around so i try to do it that way and that's I think that that's pretty much it for that. All right. 
So manage with scrum team all right a bunch of thank you thank you so much guys it was a pleasure and there's a product abhishek is asking does a product owner needs to be a technical or techno functional so abhishek definitely a techno functional person so you know like it's both and you know like i have seen uh, a bunch of people who does not know about technology and become product owner but i i can tell you from my personal experience that they are not as successful as a techno functional product owner so i would say you know like it's not a must have thing but it's definitely you know like takes you to places if you know technology as well okay and then take uh, all right Am, have I missed anything? So good. Yes, Himanshu. Uh, yes. So a good understanding of domain is definitely important because if you don't understand domain, you would not be able to bridge the gap between business and technology, which is your primary goal and which is your bread and butter. So do we have additional? Ram is asking. Do we have additional business trainings for product owners? So unfortunately, Ram. The, nothing that i am aware of i can probably you know, like look for something in udemy or edx but it's you know like mostly related to your domain and then again you know like product owner you would probably be knowing that how do you have to probably you know like facilitate the requirement gathering sessions and everything but what you have to tell is something you you know like only your experience and your intrigue nature will tell you and if i find anything then definitely you know like i'll i'll share it with uh, divakar sir so that he can share it across all right so i answered what is the best way to promote any product okay i think i missed that one oh. all right so the best way to promote a product is i would say like, like what we would like to do or what i have seen industries been uh, doing is have a lot of demos because and if you don't see it you don't believe it and trust me that you know like that happens with me as well. if someone is asking me that you know hey you know do you, you want to try this and this is not really um uh, i would say uh, a Uh, office scenario, but even in personal cases, how would you react if someone says, "Hey, do you want to try it, or do you want to go through this?" It's like, "What's in it for me?" Right? So you always have that question in your mind. So I think if you want to have that uh, the thing, then definitely yes, you have to answer that question. So whenever you ask the team that you know, like if you use this, these are the things you would be able to do. How many hours you would be able to see? Say. what is the work that you're doing manually and you know like my product would do that within i would say like seconds so that's also i would say a demo and see to believe it so that's also don't say that you know like okay you know like this is and we are building it i would say build a prototype first not essentially everything but at least the bare minimum things and then go you know like this is what we have built so far and if we have a support we'll build it more All right. I think I have answered everything. If not, then please let me know because you know, like there are a lot of things that I'm seeing through this. Okay. Uh, uh, Sita. Yes, sir. Are you, are you able to tell some technology? Are you tell some technology? Uh, using for this purpose, I mean, product owner. What, what is the combination of technology like uh, Java plus uh, this database? Like, uh, so we, what is the combination of technology for product owner? If any, uh, what is the pathway of technology? So anybody have to reach there. Sure. So I would say you know, like there are three things that I would say are crucial, and. you know like you i i remember that you know like when i was a fresher i was like oh yes you know like java is a big thing and all those things but trust me as i have grown 
I think database is the most crucial part of anything. If you don't have data, you're not doing anything right. So I would say most important thing is having your data. The database is definitely most important thing. And then it comes about, you know, like, so that is your backend. And then definitely you have. So I would say like Java, mainly for middle tier, Angular for UI and database. And if you wish to be, you know, a data science, I, I remember I saw somebody's uh, LinkedIn profile uh, from college and there are a lot of people who are interested in uh, AI and ML part. So how, how do you start, right? So it's very important for you to understand data. I myself was, uh, you know, like, data analyst for some time and I used to help all the data scientists. So if you want to be a data scientist or even for that matter product owner for product owner you need to understand these three things and I still you know like swear by your database knowledge because wherever you want to go database is very important that how do you receive data what does that data mean because you know like these days the data is not really pristine you do a lot of manipulation and massaging in the data. So uh, I would say, you know, like these are the three bare minimum things that you need to know. And again, you're like, I'm not saying that, you know, you need to know Spring and everything like, or you need to be a pro. But yes, you definitely need to know a bit of everything and probably one thing where your hand should be very good. All right. I think. OK. All right. Thank you. OK. And thank you so much, everyone. You were an amazing audience. And, you know, like, I literally can tell you how proud I am to be part of UIT. And thank you so much, Dwakar, sir, for giving me this opportunity. I, I really appreciate that. And I, I literally, like, miss those days when we were learning the people. And we literally, I mean, I don't know, if it's getting the cut, but we were so excited. नहीं लायक थे तो तब तो इतनी जगह आप बैठे हो और शायद चैट बॉक्स में कुछ और दे रहे हैं थैंक यू दे रहे हैं तो बहुत अच्छा लगा कि आपने इतने कम समय में हमें ज्वाइन किया और क्योंकि एक ऐसा पब्लिक स्पीकिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ दिस एजुकेशनल थिंग तो बड़ा मुश्किल है एक पर्सन के लिए जो कि एजुकेशन से जुड़ा नहीं है उसे लेक्चर लेना है देना है बट वो है वेरी गुड एक्सप्लेनिंग इसके जैसा कि मधु मैडम ने भी बताया सो यू हैव वेरी गुड एक्सप्लेनिंग स्किल दैट इज वेरी रेयर सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस मेनी मेनी ऑफ योर सीनियर्स एंड योर जूनियर फ्रेंड्स मेनी मेनी ऑफ स्टूडेंट मेनी ऑफ पास आउट स्टूडेंट आर कनेक्टेड विथ मी बट दे आर नॉट एग्री टू डू दिस बिकॉज ऑफ दे हैव नॉट गुड प्रेजेंटेशन स्किल आई थिंक सो सो आपने एक्सेप्ट किया आप यहाँ आए और बहुत ही अच्छे तरीके से आपने सबको समझाया क्योंकि ये जो वर्ड है डेफिनेटली प्रोडक्ट ओनर हमारे स्टूडेंट के लिए आज पहली बार जब से आपका पोस्टर लगा है तब से इन्हें देखा होगा कि कुछ होती है और अभी भी नहीं कंफ्यूजन होगा आई थिंक तो कि कंप्यूटर इंजीनियर प्रोडक्ट ओनर प्रोडक्ट क्या बनाएगा क्या करेगा हमारा क्या लेना देना आई थिंक अभी आपको सुनने से पहले तक इनका सबका ये रहा होगा कि ये क्या है मैनेजमेंट के टॉपिक में हमको क्यों बिठाया जा रहा है हमको क्यों जबरदस्ती ये सुनने के लिए बोला जा रहा है तो आई थिंक अब सभी बेनिफिटेड हुए होंगे और लगा होगा इनको कि नहीं ये कंप्यूटर इंजीनियर भी प्रोडक्ट ओनर हो सकता है और कंप्यूटर इंजीनियर ही अच्छा प्रोडक्ट ओनर होता हो सकता है ये पूरी बात अभी आपके सुनने के बाद इनको सबको कॉन्फिडेंस लगा होगा तो बहुत अच्छे तरीके से आपने बात को डिलीवर किया इतने कम टाइम में आप आए और हमको ज्वाइन किया क्योंकि अभी ड्यू टू कोविड 19 हमारे सारे स्टूडेंट अपने घर में हैं मम्मी के हाथ का बना खाना खा रहे हैं चौदह चौदह घंटे सो रहे हैं तो एक दो घंटे हम इन्हें डिस्टर्ब कर देते हैं कि ये आए और ये कुछ कुछ चीजें ये लाइव रहे टेक्नोलॉजी या चीजों से जुड़े रहे क्योंकि अभी इंडस्ट्री और जो जो न्यू कॉमर्स है इनके करियर और 
चीजों में किस तरह से चैलेंज आने वाला है इसकी भी हमने बात नहीं की तो ये थोड़ा सा आप बताएं क्योंकि डेफिनेटली वर्क फ्रॉम होम रहा है यहाँ इंडिया में अधिकतर जो बड़ी कंपनियां हैं टीसीएस इन्फोसिस और जो भी बड़ी कंपनियां हैं वो सब सेवेंटी फाइव वर्क फ्रॉम होम अगले साल के बाद प्लान कर रहे हैं और जो भी मेरे और भी जो लोगों से एक्सपर्ट से बात हो सभी ने ये बोला कि जो अभी बेंगलोर या हैदराबाद जाके महीने दो महीने की ट्रेनिंग करके स्टूडेंट चले जाके और प्रेस हो जाते थे अब दैट सीनरियो इज चेंज तो ओ, आ, मुझे इसी बात का डर लग रहा है इसी वजह से मैं कोशिश कर रहा हूं कि ज्यादा से ज्यादा चीजें सुने जाने और प्रैक्टिस करें जिससे कि इस चैलेंज से ये लोग निकल पाए और अपने घर वालों का की हेल्प करवाए विद हेल्प ऑफ सम सैलरी विद हेल्प ऑफ सम जॉब सो हाउ टू गेट दैट हाउ टू ओवरकम दिस चैलेंज हाउ टू विनर फ्रॉम दिस कोविड नाइन्टीन सिचुएशन बिकॉज एज पर माई ओपिनियन दिस सिचुएशन Uh, remain uh, with us from one to two year. So, yeah. how they face this? Uh, I would say, sir, you know, now the companies are they are cutting down a lot, and especially you know, like on on the openings, the the service base. So definitely, you know, like recession is on the way. But what I I can say is, you know, like there are you know, like a bunch of. Uh, लाइक ब्राइट स्टूडेंट तो ये लोग खुद से अपना कुछ टिल द टाइम दे हैव समथिंग यू नो लाइक एंड समथिंग इन हैंड दे कैन समथिंग ऑफ देयर ओन एंड आई वुड से लाइक द टाइम इज विद देम एंड डेफिनेटली यू नो लाइक आई आई वुड से आई एम नॉट श्योर आप लोगों का वो ट्रेनिंग एंड प्लेसमेंट्स का क्या है मतलब कंपनीज आ रही हैं कि नहीं बट यूजली व्हाट आई हैव सीन एंड आई हैव हर्ड कि यूजुअली लोग ने क्या किया है ऑनलाइन क्लासेस स्टार्ट किए दे हैव बिल्ड देयर ओन प्लेटफॉर्म एंड स्टार्टेड टीचिंग किड्स आई एम नॉट नॉट रियली किड्स इट्स लाइक यू नो लाइक इफ यू आर एज इज पास आउट एंड टिल द टाइम यू आर डूइंग जॉब हंटिंग यू कैन प्रोबेबली यू नो लाइक टेक सेशंस फॉर योर जूनियर्स और व्हाट इज इट दैट यू शुड डू और समथिंग दैट यू आर गुड एट एंड एक एक और चीज मैंने मतलब फेस की है एक्सपीरियंस uh, किया है uh, यहाँ पर यूएस में आके जब जब इंडिया में थे राइट तो वी यूज टू से ओ मैंने मतलब इतना किया है राइट एंड देन व्हाई आई शुड डू दिस एंड प्रोबेबली यू नो लाइक इट्स इट्स टू लो फॉर माय क्वालिफिकेशन सो दिस इज समथिंग दैट आई हैव एक्सपीरियंस आफ्टर कम is something that that is in our hand so i think these are my two cents uh, uh yes uh, very good answer uh, sridha uh, but uh, आई एम वरी टू कि जिस तरीके से मतलब मैं जो एटीट्यूड पा रहा हूँ जितना मुझे लगता है कि सिचुएशन टफ हुई है ये अंदाज मुझे नहीं लग रहा कि स्टूडेंट को है जो आपने बोला ना कि वो पहले हम जैसा सोचते थे कि हमने इतना पढ़ लिया बी कर लिया ये कर लिया तो अभी हमें ये करने की क्या जरूरत लगभग लगभग वही जी एटीट्यूड मैं अभी भी पा रहा हूँ स्टूडेंट के बीच वी हैव मोर देन टू हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट और उनको ऐसा लगता है कि कहीं से वो जा उड़ जाएगा और उनको उड़ा के ले जाएगा और उनको सब मिल जाएगा उन्हें क्या करने की जरूरत है उन्हें ये आता है वाता दिस टाइप ऑफ परसेप्शन आई फील तो दिस दिस इज अगेन टफ सिचुएशन बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन अगेन इट मेक बिगर टफ सो सो फाइट विथ दिस सिचुएशन वी आर ट्राइंग टू कलेक्ट connect all you to come here and deliver your uh, thought your thing you motivate the uh, all the student so they able to uh, motivate himself and uh, they uh, try to continue with some good hands on good practice so uh, they are um, industry ready they will come industry ready and industry can take because of uh, they are still so this is my uh, basically theme to behind this uh, webinar so thank you uh, thank you sridha for uh, 
come coming and joining us. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, I requesting our welcome team. If anybody having uh, have here, then uh, then uh, give both of thanks to Sadha. Definitely, ma'am. I would love to. <laughs> and I, I, it's like your memory is still fresh. I remember that we were in college and we were so happy and we were so happy and we were so I remember eating and everything and it's, it's literally like nostalgia. And guys, all of you are very lucky to be part of UIT and such good mentors. I'm telling you. And uh, I can tell you that, you know, you won't realize this now, but definitely, like, over the years, you'll miss these days. So make most of it. All right. I think if we don't have any questions, then we can call it a day then. And I'll start with my office work. And it's Friday, so I'm happy. I'll be Okay, okay, thank you, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, thank, thanks to join us. Thank you, thank you, sir. Anytime, bye, bye, everyone. Hello, my WhatsApp here.